Is that people standing there? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. You guys know what it is. It's your boy Kevin, man. Okay, so today we got, as you guys seen the title, man, Filipino snipers versus American snipers 2020. Who is better? Okay. I don't know. I'll give you what I think right off the start. Okay, right off the start. I've been doing a lot of videos about army and American versus Filipino and stuff. And so far, man, with the limited supplies that the Filipino army has, man, they have been impressing me, man. Honestly, impressing me. So I have a feeling that the, you know, the, the, the Filipino, the Filipino uh, snipers are going to be better than the American ones. But I don't know. We're going to find out, man. I'm going to give my honest opinion at the end of the video. So yeah let's go So this so far is not really, well, this, this is one in class as sniping because they're not using snipers. It looks like they're just shooting at the enemy like they see in the next building. That's that's what this looks like. I don't think it's sniping right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that people standing there? No. That, they got people standing here. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know if I, I would personally would not volunteer in my life to hold up something so that someone could shoot it out of my hands. I can't do that. I really do hope that they're shooting blanks because I do not want to be that person who shot someone in the leg or killed someone, man. I really do hope they're shooting blanks, but they got the, they got the target, though. Okay, you guys gotta admit, man, that was pretty impressive, man. Pretty damn impressive. Holding two cans in your hand and letting someone snipe it out of your hand, man. That's pretty impressive. I don't know. So far, I gotta give it to the American sniper so far, man. The American sniper really impressed me so far, man. Gotta be honest, so far, that, that was pretty impressive. But one thing I will say though, what I've noticed so far, the distance though between the Filipinos and the American, the Filipino obviously was shooting for much further range. That's the one. So I gotta, hmm, that's really hard, man. Let's see, let's keep watching the video. <gasps> On his shoulder.
Wait, am I am I volunteering for this? No way. Right your neck and your shoulders and your hip area? No way. I ain't volunteering for that. If this guy makes the shot, well, he must make the shot because it's posted on YouTube. But still, when he makes the shot, I am going to be hella impressed, man. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that, man. Oh, all right, man. Well, I don't know. So far, I honestly think it's a tie, man. I gotta give it a tie. I'm sorry. A lot of guys probably gonna say, "Get away, that's cheating." It's a tie. It's a tie for me, okay? Because what the Americans can do was pretty damn impressive, man. Shooting that off the shoulders and like that—that—that that, that takes skills. That takes skills. For me. I just don't want to be that guy who has hold a can on the shoulder, the balloon on the shoulder, okay, man? Because the Filipino guy, like, had it right against his neck. It's a little bit off, just, just by a little hair off. And that's it. That's the end of your life, man. You're trusting your life in someone else's hand. That, that, I, I couldn't do that, okay? So for me, this video is a tie. I think both the Americans and the Filipino soldiers in 2020 can snipe. And they're professional at what they do, man. They're great at what they do. So for me, it's a tie, okay? That's it. That's it. Anyways, you guys made the end of the video. You guys know what to do. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys absolutely love the video, man. Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn that post notification bells on. And we'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.